English as a language which is divided into various sections. Now those section divisions can be as literature section, comprehension section, grammar section or we can say it can be writing section. So today we will be covering writing areas. Now the writing section has various topics within it. It can be letter writing or a bio sketch. It can be a diary entry or notice writing or a message writing in fact. So we will be understanding message writing, the format of writing a message to someone, the rules for writing the message and the different rules to avoid. There are different points that you should avoid making. So all of these will be covered in this video. So let us begin with the definition of message. Now what is a message? Message is nothing but just a piece of information. It can be a news or a request for someone. So a message, it is a piece of information. Or it can be a piece of news or request for someone. Right? It can be a piece of information, news or request for someone. Now a message can be both verbal or written. So a message, it can be verbal or written. Now the fastest mode of communication is what? It is telephone, right? But there can be chances where the person whom the speaker wants to talk to is not available at home. So in that case, you have to leave a message for that person. Now the person who is attending the call also has to go for some work and even that person is not available when for whom the message has been left has to arrive. So in that case, you just write a message to the person in a short work, right? That message should be short, it should be compact and it should be clear what the person who is writing the message really wants to speak. So now, the characteristics of message The characteristic of message should be that Number one, it should be clear, compact and short. Second characteristic is that it should contain date and time at which the message is written. Okay, it should contain the date and time at which the message should be written. Third characteristic is that it should contain the recipient's name. Along with salutation if required. Okay, along with the salutation. Then... At the end, it should also contain your sender's signature. Sender's signature is also required so that the person who is receiving the message should know that who has written the message. So below these are the characteristics of the message. Now, let us understand the various rules for writing the message. Here we will be understanding the rules. The first rule is that you have to make sure that you stick to the word limit. The word limit over here is just 50 words. We should not exceed the word limit otherwise there are chances of deduction in marks. 
which we obviously do not want so it it is better that you stick to the word limit and what are the rules for sticking to the word limit or the criteria that criteria is that do not add extra information when you will stick to the information that is provided the message will definitely reach 50 words and not above right but if you keep on adding extra information from your side which is not required then definitely we can exceed also it will hinder the format of a message due to which again there are chances of reduction in marks so both these are the important rules that you have to remember third rule is that we should make sure that we write our message in reported speech that reported speech should always be indirect you should write the message in reported speech that reported sh uh, speech should be in indirect form it is not it should generally be someone th some third person who is conveying the message and we should not directly use the words of the speaker who has actually sent the message so this also you have to keep in mind that you should you should write the message in reported speech the word limit should be 50 then another rule is that you have to uh, like i said mention date time salutation sender's name or signature whatever you want right and one very important rule is that write the message in box okay first you have to make a box and then you have to write the message actually for message writing there are special memo slips which are available but in the examination no such memo slip will be provided so in that case you have to uh make a box in your examination sheet and then write the message in that box and the message should be of the limit 50 words so these are points to remember now we will say points to avoid now points to avoid are also same as i said uh first is that do not exceed the limit the first point is that we should not exceed the limit the second point is that we should not mention the sender's address or the receiver's address no mentioning of address is required so the next point is do not mention the address we should not mention any address during a message writing and the third area is that no extra information is required so these are some of the points which you should avoid that do not mention the address no subject is required no subject is required so these are some rules that you need to follow and these are some points which you need to avoid now what like i said before the characteristics of message so let us understand more about the characteristics understanding more about the characteristics is like what points should we cover during a message that is who called who did the caller want to speak right then uh, next point should be that where to reach or meet if in the message someone wants the person to reach their own time or meet so where to reach when to reach 
when to meet or what to bring so these are some of the points which is very necessary to mention as the message suggest right if the message is about meeting then you have to mention the place and the time when you need to meet if you have to bring something then also you need to mention that what to bring the reason if mentioned by the speaker then also the reason should be given now let us understand the format of message so now let us understand the format of the message as i said the message should always be within a box so i will first make my box over here once i have made the box i will begin my message by writing message on the top and in the center and then i will underline it top center i will give the heading as message and i will underline this then below that in the rightmost corner top rightmost corner i will first mention the date over here and then below the date i will mention the time without leaving a line no line has to be left over here date and below the date you have to mention the time and then right along the time the left side of time will be my salutation over here it can either be the salutation or the recipient's name right it can either be the salutation or the recipient's name recipient's name can be anything like mom dad or the name of your friend or your cousin right but since if some message has to be given to your boss then you have to say dear sir or respected sir so accordingly and then this will be the body of your message no line has to be left between salutation and body then after writing the body here you have to leave a line and then you have to write your name or the signature actually in most of the uh, formats it is also mentioned that first you write your name and then the signature but in most it is just like either you write the name or the signature so this is the format of the message now let us understand this format and let us understand how to write the message through an example so now let us understand the format of message writing through example now this is the example the example over here is uh, between here the conversation is between mr zafar and karuna now mr zafar has basically called his friend at his colleague mr kohli but since mr kohli is not at home the phone call has been received by his daughter karuna and now this is a conversation between mr Ka mr zafar and karuna now accord now assuming that you are karuna you have to write the message to your father and that message should contain all the information which is between these two people and your message should not cross 50 words so we have to stay in the word limit and then convey the message let us understand what the message is all about what is the conversation going on between the two first is mr zafar calls and says hello can i speak to mr kohli to which karuna says that i am sorry he is not at home may i know who is calling then mr zafar replies that i am zafar his colleague then karuna says oh hi uncle i am karuna can i take down the message for that so now mr zafar also knows that karuna is his daughter then mr zafar says that hi karuna please tell your father to reach hotel greensway tomorrow to which karuna says tomorrow yes at 8 pm at sampan banquet our md is organizing a dinner party 
ask your father to convey this message to Mr. Dutta also. Then Karuna says, all right uncle, bye. And then Mr. Zafar also says, bye. Now, this message has to be conveyed to Karuna's father. So, assuming that you are Karuna, you have to deliver this message to your father in not more than 50 words. And also make sure that the message should be within a box. So, now over here, first criteria is to place the message within a box. So here I will first be creating a box and then I will be writing message on top as this is the format of my message writing. Write the message and then underline the message. Then here on the top right corner we have to mention our date and time. Since there is no date, there is no time mentioned over here, I can assume my date and time. So I will say 25th. December 2020 this is a date that I will mention and according to me it is my wish whatever time I choose suppose I say 2.15 p.m. so now we do not have to leave a line between the two and along this time just in the same line in the left I will write the salutation my salutation over here will be that. So this is the topmost format. Now along with that, without leaving a line, I will start my message as Mr. Zafar called. To inform you. That. Now what, he, what is he informing? You have to reach there to inform you that you have to reach at Hotel Greensway Tomorrow at 8 p.m. Tomorrow at 8 p.m. Why? As your MD is organizing. As your MD is organizing a dinner party. Now one thing over here I have forgot to mention. What have I forgotten? Sampan banquet. Right? So he is organizing a dinner party in Sampan banquet. Then again one thing Mr. Zafar has asked, he has also asked you to inform Mr. Datta. So I will say he has asked you to convey the same message to Mr. Datta. Right? Now my entire message, the conversation over here, I have created a message out of that and the entire conversation is clear and all the points have been mentioned in this message. Right? Organizing a dinner party, you have to convey the same message to Mr. Datta. Okay, done. Same message has been conveyed to Mr. Datta. Now I have to end my message. For ending my message, I will just write Karuna over here. So I will say... Karuna. And here the format of the message I hope should be clear through this example. So in this video we have studied about message writing, the various rules for writing the message, the various points that you need to avoid while writing the message and then I think that 
the format should not be clear through the example which I have just mentioned over here.